Welcome back. You're watching CNN News 18 with me, Poonam Burde. Shocking news came to the fore over the weekend from Ahmedabad. The executive director and the owner of Wag Bakri Tea, Parag Desai, passed away from a brain hemorrhage when he was reportedly sustained after he was trying to run away from stray dogs. This happened in Ahmedabad, very close to his residence. The incident took place outside his residence on the 15th of October. According to a report, uh, Desai was rushed to a private hospital nearby after he slipped outside his home, hit his head. He suffered from brain hemorrhage. He was fighting the battle with life for about a week. Unfortunately, he succumbed to the injuries yesterday. He is survived by his wife and daughter. But this incident has now brought the focus back on the menace of stray dogs and what the solution is. The debate, of course is intense on both sides but there has to be a solution because innocent lives are being lost we've seen several children especially uh, being attacked by these stray dogs as well one such instance coming to the fore once again which is why we're inviting your participation we want you to call and share your views here on cnn news 18 what exactly is the way forward and have our civic bodies failed us that's the question that we are asking here on cnn news 18 the numbers are flashing on your screens do call in and share your views with us Pranav Patel, my colleague, joining in, uh, getting us more details. Pranav, what uh, can you give us more details? Actually, what happened in the 15th century? And after that, for a week, did any of the civic body take any steps? Yes, Poonam, uh, this is the last Sunday of this Sunday. And the daughter received it from the last Sunday. And the daughter received it from the last Sunday. And the daughter received it from the last Sunday. And the daughter received it from the last Sunday. And the daughter received it from the last Sunday. And the daughter received it from वो अपनी डॉटर को रिसीव करने के लिए वो बाहर पहुंच रहे थे क्योंकि डॉटर विदेश से आ रही थी तो उनको रिसीव करने खुद वो बाहर जा रहे थे तभी वहां पर जो वहां पर जो कुत्ते थे वो उनके उनके ऊपर अटैक किया तो वहीं पर वो गिर पड़े थे उनके पर ब्रेन पर मेजर इंजरी हुई थी फिर उनको वहां से हॉस्पिटल ट्रांसफर किया गया था लेकिन वहां पर भी उनको जो सारवार में जो सारवार नहीं मिल पाए फिर वो सेकंड हॉस्पिटल में वो गए थे वो भी अहमदाबाद की और गुजरात की सबसे बड़ी चाइडस हॉस्पिटल मानी जा रही वहां पर गए थे वहां पर उनकी वहां ट्रीटमेंट चली लेकिन डॉक्टर उनको बचा नहीं पाए हैं वो कल ही उनका डेथ है वो अनाउंसमेंट हो चुका था और आज ही उनके जो पार्थिव देह है उनकी भी अंतिम पूरी जो विधि है वो पूरे मंत्रोचार से की गई थी और साथ में ही कई बड़ी अस्थियां भी वहां पर पहुंची थी उनको लास्ट उनके अंतिम दर्शन के लिए लेकिन प्रशासन की बात करें तो प्रशासन अभी भी जागा नहीं है प्रशासन में अभी भी ये असमंजस स्थिति है कि हुआ कैसे हुआ था ये पूरी घटना कैसे हुई है लेकिन साथ में ये भी जान को मिला है कि गुजरात हाईकोर्ट ने भी एक संज्ञान लिया है जिस तरह से सिटी में जिस तरह से काव हो डॉग हो या फिर जो एनिमल जिस तरह से घूम रहे हैं तो उनके ऊपर भी एक्शन लेने के लिए राज्य सरकार को उन्होंने कहा है कोर्ट ने भी कहा है लेकिन जो एक घटना हुई है बहुत गंभीर है पूरे अहमदाबाद और पूरे गुजरात में एक बड़ा एक रॉन्ग मैसेज यहां पर सरकार के अगेंस्ट में गया है क्योंकि जिस तरह से ये घटना हुई एक बड़े बड़े इंडस्ट्रियल है ये और साथ में जिस तरह घटना हुई है लेकिन प्रशासन अभी तक कहीं ना सोया हुआ ऐसी बात यहाँ पर दिख रही है जी बिल्कुल प्रणब हमारे साथ बने रहिए और जानकारी के लिए आपके पास आते रहेंगे बट वेर ऑल्सो ओपनिंग आर कॉल्स लाइव हियर ऑन सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन वी रिक्वेस्ट आर व्यूअर्स टू कॉल इन द नंबर्स ऑफ फ्लैशिंग एट द बॉटम ऑफ योर स्क्रीन कोकिला फ्रॉम तेलंगाना इज आर फर्स्ट व्यूअर कॉलिंग इन येस कोकिला हैव यू फेस्ड एनी थिंग सिमिलर विड रियली डू होप नॉट बट इफ यू कुड शेयर सम ऑफ योर एक्सपीरियंसिस areas of our place you know they attacked the small children and they killed all, almost like you know uh, and uh, the injuries are so much with this stray dog uh, that is you know we cannot tell in words okay i i i suggest that you have to kill all the stray dogs and those who are you know uh, having their own pets they have to take care that they will not get cross and or else they sh uh, should not leave their, their dogs outside.
Yes, yeah. absolutely. But there has to be a balance that is maintained. Uh, there are laws against uh, the kind of treatment that is meted out to stray dogs as well. That is something that the civic bodies need to come out and uh, really get a handle on. But Kogila, thank you so much for calling in here on CNN News 18 with your views. Uh, we are taking your calls live here. We would like to know from you if you face something similar. What uh, action, if any, has been taken uh, in the instances that you may have noted? Or what is it that you think could be the solution to this issue? Because we seem to have these instances coming to the fore more often than we'd like. Unfortunately, innocent children falling prey, defenseless, unable to know what exactly is to be done. And that's really the worst part of this entire situation. But the debate is coming back on to what exactly can happen. There are certain laws that are put in place to ensure uh, humane treatment to stray dogs as well. But where is the line that needs to be drawn when we see such kind of uh, instances coming to the fore? Mala Tuli now joining us, uh, an activist uh, as far as animal rights are concerned. Thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. You know, every time such an instance comes to the fore, there's always a debate of what the solution would be. What, according to you, should be done? Because unfortunately, we see these instances uh, come to the fore more often than we'd like them to. Yeah, so what uh, we're really sorry about this, it was really an uh, accident that happened. And uh, we are so sorry about this accident and we feel so sorry about the person who passed away. He himself was such a great animal lover. So he w went out to his back lane for a walk. And over there, I believe he saw these trays standing. So he just tried to shoo them away and he came back. He came back. That is the time where his uh, leg, you know, he slipped on the stairs and fell and hit his head on the Gamla. That is what we are coming to know about this. And his daughter, when she came back, she found him in this injured state. And he was taken to the hospital. And I think over there, he was there for a week. And uh, really sad that he passed away because he sustained head injuries. Right. Right, but as far as Ahmedabad is concerned, uh, we recently had uh, data coming in from the State Assembly which said that as far as three years from 2020 to 2023 and that records are concerned, Ahmedabad recorded an average of six dog bites an hour. So there definitely is an issue. How do we tackle it then? Uh, how true or how are these, uh, state, uh, these uh, incidents taken in recording? How far are they true? Because so many times such things are reported wrongly and everything is made from a molehill to a mountain that's i feel that's what i feel you know because people are really getting after stray menace stray menace animal menace i really don't know why this is happening i really don't fail to understand about 10 15 years back we never heard about uh, stray or uh, strays a menace dogs are a menace but recently this thing is really been going on and it's sorry, I'm really sorry to say, but uh, this needs to be, uh, you know, everybody. What about the cruelties that are happening to the animals every day on the daily basis? Hmm. Why isn't the media highlighting them to t make the people aware of what is going on, what humans are doing to the animals? What are they doing? They are raping, they are burning, they are killing. Every day, uh, you know, thousands of animals are killed every day. So nothing comes... People are not made aware of that, what the strays are going through. What the strays Absolutely, are going through. Absolutely, which is through why, through why we're asking life. here if civic bodies have failed us, the administration has failed us because it cuts both ways, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely, the, these uh, government bodies who are supposed to do it, the municipalities, they have done nothing just to, you know, they've made the place, but there's nothing and they're not doing any sterilization. So this is really sad. And they are to be blamed for all this. And all the uh, hype that is happening, strays, strays, strays are a menace. Re frankly telling you, the government bodies really need to wake up and do something for the animals. And I, The government I bodies definitely need to wake up uh, and uh, do something quick to ensure that we do not see instances like this uh, coming in. Uh, and like uh, Maratoli was also pointing out, it works both ways. But thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18 and sharing your perspective. We're also taking your calls live here on this broadcast. The numbers are flashing at the bottom of your screens. Do call in, do share your views uh, as to what you think could be a possible solution.
to this issue that we are seeing ever so often now. There are laws that are in place, but this unfortunate death of a 50-year-old has now brought the spotlight back on what more should be done, what more can be done, and if there is a lack of willingness, if you will, amongst local administrations to actually do something about this. Several instances had come to the fore uh, from different parts of the country over the last few months. Uh, many children falling prey to attacks uh, from these stray dogs, unfortunately, loss of lives reported as well. In this particular case, coming in from Ahmedabad, where a 50-year-old, Parag Desai, who was uh, the sign of Wagbakri Tea Private Limited, the owner, the executive director, unfortunately had a fall while he was trying to... Uh, while he was trying to get away from being chased from stray dogs, unfortunately, he hit his head, suffered brain hemorrhage, battled for his life for a week in the hospital, unfortunately, lost that battle yesterday and succumbed to his injuries. Puneet calling in now from Noida. Puneet, uh, do share your views with us here on CNN News 18. Have you faced something similar? We've seen instances like this come to the fore from the Noida Ghaziabad area in the recent past. Ma'am, there is a, see, this is a big nexus. I tell you what, all these animal activists, they are basically, you know, what they are doing is, if you say that, you know, please don't feed the dog here, please feed them 20 meters away, 30 meters away, they will not agree to it. There have been so many dog bites happening, the kids have been attacked, but all, what, if you tell them, then you will be singled out. They have a big NGO who is being backed by some vaccine makers. And what they're doing is, they're basically, you know, uh, they're singling you out. They will uh, threaten you that we will lodge uh, false, uh, you know, cases against you. FIRs will be lost and you will be singled out. You know, no one, I mean, this whole society has been living with these trays. But the biggest problem is this nexus in the name of NGOs and all the animal activists. Hmm. This is the biggest problem. You know, no one actually want to hurt the dogs. But, you know, if there is a point to keep the dogs open, you know, you say, okay, you want to adopt the dog. You will cannot even adopt the dog. So why you unleash your pet dogs also, na? It's a very simple thing. If you want to leash your pet dogs, so how can you leave the stray dogs uh, open? And you say that they cannot move out of the society. They will remain within the society compass, compound. I mean, this is forcing the stray dogs to be really in that mood. They will never, they, I mean, some of the ladies, they wanted sterilization also not to be done for those dogs. Hmm. Imagine the kind of, you know, terror the people are living in. Right, when we have uh, arguments coming in from both sides that these stray dogs are also not treat treated well, which perhaps forces them to act in such a rabid way. But thank you so much for calling in here and sharing your perspective. Sonia from Pune also uh, joining us here on this broadcast. Uh, yes, Sonia. Yeah, hi. Hello. Yeah, this is Sonia Chopra from Pune. And uh, I'm a dog parent and a total dog lover too. So uh, actually, uh, these stray dogs, even I feed stray dogs wherever I meet them. But I generally see even cars, you know, just crashing onto the dogs. I see bikers. They don't bother about these dogs. Hello, am I audible to you? Yes, Sonia, go ahead. We can hear you. Yeah, these bikers, even people. I see kids, you know, people just entertaining parents, just telling them, you know, just hit him if the dog comes to you. The dog actually just needs love. He's like a human being. If you just love him and you talk to him, you say, no, you're not coming behind me, okay? I'll give you the biscuits later on. He will never follow you. He will just wait there and I've observed with all the street dogs. I'm a dog lover. I've got two labs and I'm a dog owner. Okay, my parents also have dogs. We, we all own dogs. Hmm. So uh, these dogs have to be treated like humans. You are like, treating them, you know, the dog, the word actually has been associated very badly with a wrongdoing person. You know, yes. even in Hindi, they say kutte jasa bartao. Actually, kutta means a dog. He is the most decent of the species. If you just pat him and tell him, ki, no, ye nahi karna hai abhi. afterwards, I'm going to get a little bit and he'll wait for you. Sure. He will never harm you. People, only those who stone throw them, you know, who say hard, she, get lost, hut, you know, only those people are attacked by these dogs because they are just like humans. Even sure. if you, you know, even if you bully me or even if you give me a bad word or something, I'll respond, retaliate similarly, right? I get your point. I get your point, Sonia. Thank you so much for calling in. Uh, we have more uh, more of our viewers who are calling in uh, to share their perspective. Rohini from Bengaluru is also now joining us here on this broadcast. Yes, Rohini, have you had uh, any such instances where uh, unfortunate instances like this have been reported 
or if any action has been taken uh so uh, first of all i think it is on the authorities um i'm uh, from bangalore i have friends who feed animals right so if they have to get them neutered also we have to bribe the authorities to get them neutered okay so first of all authorities are not doing their job and also uh there is no point in blaming animals or people separately i think uh, someone who spoke earlier they told the awareness is very very important for people yes i think if you bring that up i think it will be great and i do not like the comment of someone saying you should kill them all it is not fair at all you are a living being animals are also living being i think you should live figure out a way right it's okay Absolutely. i mean we are really sorry for what happened Right. Absolutely, and it is for the local administration, for the civic body, really to come up with a solution to ensure that uh, we do not take any extreme step on either sides. That's really the message I think that is coming to the fore. But what is that solution? Unfortunately, we haven't been able uh, to come down to that. But Rohini, thank you so much for calling in here on CNN News 18 and sharing your perspective. Several instances like this coming to the fore from multiple parts of the country in the recent past. Perhaps uh, a national policy needs to be looked into. to find that middle ground to find that solution to ensure that we do not uh, face such instances we do not uh, encounter such uh, unfortunate instances of people losing their lives ravi from chikmangaluru also calling in here uh, ravi go ahead yeah 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 i also really had a bad experience uh, day for yesterday uh, i really uh, the three dogs really came uh, really pounced upon me by i had by by mistake uh, by chance i was escaped but uh, some of the kids are uh, kids and elder elder people are, are also attacked here some uh, some action should be taken it's, uh, it's really hard to move hmm absolutely action needs to be taken uh, ravi thank you so much for calling in uh, and we're glad that you are safe many people like you have also been uh, unfortunately victim to uh, attacks from stray dogs but no extreme step should be the solution there has to be a middle ground and it is for the state governments for the local administration to find that middle ground